Welcome to El Jardino Oceanfront. Today we will go through the procedure of setting up the bar. The first thing you do when you walk in the door is turn on the lights, turn on the cappuccino machine and a dishwasher, and start taking down the chairs. Uh, when setting up the chairs, make sure you place them at the angle so they seem to be inviting to the customers to come and sit down. One of the first things we do is turn on the dishwasher machine to make sure that it's up to the high temperature by the time we open. The next step would be turning on the cappuccino machine. It's set at zero. You turn the knob to one and wait for a few minutes. At that point, you can get your settings ready for the pods. So we have two. We have a decaf pod and we have a regular espresso pod. After the few minutes, you can turn it to two and let the machine heat up. When getting ready for the night, you need to make sure that your customer section is set up. You have enough plates to serve focaccia bread, appetizers, and regular bread. You'll have enough menus. You'll have enough silverware to last through the night. Forks, knives, cocktail forks, spoons, tongs, and pizza. Spatulas, we have enough place settings. We have enough um, dressing and oils for the focaccia bread as well. The next step would be assessing the situation with the liquor and wines and what needs to be restocked. We'll look at the white stand-up cooler and the red stand-up cooler and see what we need in addition to what we already have there. The next would be looking into the liquor cabinet on this side where we have all the bourbons and scotches and mixers and see what needs to be added. Next we will move on to the cooler that contains our featured wines that also need to be restocked. Right here we we'll have um, your vodka, gins, bar liquors, and cordials. So we'll also make a list of those items that need to be restocked. Then we will look at our featured wine list section, which is, these are all the wines that are featured wines. So when you get down to three bottles, you need to restock the wines and always rotate them. So these three bottles will come out and go to the other end of the bar to be served by the glass and the new case will be brought in to be restocked. We will also check the situation with the beer and see what needs to be restocked as well. So right here, if it's um, down to less than three beers per six pack, you will restock that beer and you will again rotate it so the new six pack will go on the very bottom and the cold ones will go up. In addition to the red wines, uh, we also have featured wines right here. These are our most popular ones. So uh, we have Chardonnay, Pinot Grigio, and White Zinfandel. You need to look at the number with those and add as you go. When getting ready for the night, make sure you have enough featured red wines ready to go to be poured by the glass. I like to have at least three bottles of wine open and um, so you don't have to do this with every bottle. Don't pull the cork out all the way. Pull this out and you're ready to go. The next step in setting up the bar will be placing the mats for your shakers and making the drinks. So you have a set that goes on the top bar. It's a little longer because we have a lot more action going on in this end. So right here, you will place your mats, preferably facing the customers so they can see what's written on them as an advertisement. And then on top of the mats, you will place the shakers so they're ready to go for cocktail making. Once you set this up, you can go ahead and pour water in your sinks. We have three sinks. We have one that's for washing, for dumping, and sanitizing. 
once you close the holes, you can start filling it up with water. We have um, two, um, two things that we add to the sinks. We have the sanitizer and we have a detergent. So a little bit will go in this sink and a little bit go with this. And start filling up the water. When getting your cocktail napkins ready, you will take a medium stack, you will take a shaker, you can do a small one or a big one, personal preference. You will roll on top of the napkins, put in a little bit of pressure to make them roll. Then you will flip it over to get it on the other side and make it even. Then you flip it and you place it on top of the plate. And here we go. And this is what the bar set up will look like with the tins and napkins set across the bar. When getting your supplies for behind the bar, there are several different areas where you can find things. Strawberries are typically located in the walk-in outside of the restaurant. Um, cocktail nap napkins are located in the far end storage unit. And so is the dishwasher liquid, the sanitizer and rinse. Um, when looking for olive oil and balsamic, you can find those in the dry storage unit right outside of the back door to the restaurant. That's where you can also find olives and uh, your crushed red pepper and other dry goods. This is our liquor room. This is where you will find all the liquor that you need for the night and everything that you need to get restocked. Also, you will find all the reds by the, um, by the bottle and all the, some of our featured white wines, as well as champagne and dessert wines. On the left side, you will find the wines in cases. Those are our featured reds and those we use by the cases when bringing them out and restocking them. This is the section of the restaurant where you will find your linens as well as to-go bags and plastic silverware. Further in, you will find the beer room, as well as the walk-in where you will find the featured whites and your fruit. When you cut your fruit, you need to think about what day of the week it is and what we have on the books. If we have a lot of large parties, you need to cut a substantial amount of fruit. If it's just a weekday in the winter time, then cut just a little bit to last through the night because you want to have it fresh. So when we cut our lemons, we cut on both sides. We cut in half. Then you make a slit in the middle to be able to place it on the glass. And then you cut it in thin to medium sized slices. They go like this and you place it in the bowl. With limes, it's a little different. With limes, we cut them in half. We'll make a slit in the middle without cutting all the way through. And you cut limes in wedges. And it will look like this. We use more limes than lemons. So typically we will have two backups for limes and one backup for lemons. Oranges, we only use for a couple of uh, featured drinks. So you don't need much, two oranges per night is more than enough. You will cut it similar to lemons, but because uh, slices are pretty big, we actually cut them in quarters. And again. We'll cut it this way and place them in the bowl. For sangrias, we use strawberries. So you will take a strawberry, depending on the size. You don't want to cut them too small because then they will go that pretty fast. So with a strawberry of this size, I will cut it in quarters. With a smaller strawberry, I will cut it in half. And because we only use it for sangrias, we don't typically need a lot of strawberries. 
actually sangrias and um, one of the martinis. We don't cut, cut a lot of strawberries, so I'd say four to five a night will be more than enough. So twists, that's the tricky one. With twists, you need to make sure that you have enough rind around the lemon. My preferred way is you will take a spoon and you will cut in the lemon, kind of separating the skin from the core and you will go all around. Don't um, Try not to squeeze the lemon too hard because then you kind of squeeze in the juices out. You will cut the other end and then you will cut it in half. From the side where you already took the skin off, you can kind of gently peel this off and separate the core from the rind. Typically it comes off pretty easy. And twist is a twist. It needs to be able to twist. So I like to make them a little longer. So I cut them sideways. And that way, you have a twist. And this is what a finished product would look like. This is what we typically need ready to go every night. For the weekend, as I was talking earlier, the backups, for the weekend we will need two tins full of limes. We will need full container of oranges and full container of lemons. On the weekday, it's just one tin of limes extra, about half and half on oranges and lemons.